built the model specifically to donate to this museum. I've been coming here for a long time and uh, love the museum, love the expansion plans for it. Uh, it's it's going to be a great time this fall at the fly-in, and I hope everybody turns out. It was one of two American aircraft built. Uh, the JN4 Jenny was a basic trainer. Uh, the Tommy was an advanced trainer, and I believe they also used it as a scout plane in England. And uh, you have one here at the museum. I thought it would be a, a great display piece with the real aircraft uh, so that uh, visitors could see everything that's inside of it under the covering. Everything that's on the real aircraft is, is represented on the model. If, if it's on there, it's on, it's on the model. You approach each part as an individual model. And if the part's not right, then you brush it aside and you start over until you get the part perfect. And, and that's pretty much what it takes to do it. You, you have to be willing to, you have to be willing to start over on any given part and, and just keep at it until it's right. Okay. Uh, mounting the top wing, the real challenge in building individual parts and in a scratch belt project like this, you, you're building all the parts and then you're assembling them. Uh, so some of the challenges are how to build any given part without backing yourself into a corner, uh, particularly when you're using uh, machines like mills and lathes. Uh, so it takes a lot of thought and pre-planning and going over every step of the, of the procedure, just making sure you can get them all in and still have some way to hold the part while you're working on it. And you find yourself building tools. You build jigs to hold things so that you can work on them. You build uh, clamps, <laughs> you pick clamps out of clothespins. Use whatever material is available uh, that suits your need and gets the job done. And the wheels are hand laced. Uh, they're aluminum rims, uh, steel music wire spokes, brass hubs. Uh, the tires are actually made from wood. All put together, painted, and uh, they go on just like the real ones. The rigging is challenging. Uh, not so much making it, but getting everything hooked up to the points where it's supposed to be and supporting what it should support. The rigging is fully functional. It supports the wings. And uh, that's the only thing that supports the wings, just as on the real aircraft. I used drawings from a gentleman uh, by the name of Jim Kiger. Uh, he runs a small company in Fremont, California named Replicraft. Uh, he takes original factory drawings uh, and redraws them into a format that's more easily understood. Without Jim's drawings, it would not have been possible. I can't give him enough credit. I I'm just really proud to have it here. Uh, I'm, I'm very, very happy that the museum is happy with it. Uh, like, as I said, that was the whole point behind it. So I've accomplished my goal, and that's, that's always a good feeling.